morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you came from heaven above. The Holy Spirit is on the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you came from every moon. The Holy Spirit is on the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Hallelujah. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you came from heaven above. The Holy Spirit. Is on the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I will enter his gate with thanksgiving. I will enter his court with praise. I will sing. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made us glad. We are so glad. We will rejoice for he has made us glad. He has made us glad. We are so glad. We will rejoice for he has made us glad. Hallelujah, O Zaina. 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 When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all He has done for us, my soul shall shout, Hallelujah. Praise God for saving us. When I think of the goodness of Jesus. And all he has done for me, my very soul shall shout, Hallelujah! Praise God for saving me. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, and all he has done for me. My very soul shout out, hallelujah, praise God for saving us. So we can shout, hallelujah, we shout, hallelujah, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. So we can shout, hallelujah, we can shout, hallelujah, we can shout, Praise the Lord when I think of the good and all He has done for us. 
My very soul shall shout Praise the Lord, for the Lord, hallelujah. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, and all he has done for us, my very soul shall shout, hallelujah. Praise God, for saving us. Praise God. For saving us, lift him up higher, lift him up higher. My Lord is good, I will lift him up higher. Anywhere I go, I will lift him up higher. Lift him up higher. I am. My Lord is good. I will lift him up higher. Anywhere I go, I will lift him up higher. Lift him up higher. Lift him up higher. My Lord is good. I will lift him up higher. Anywhere I go, I will lift him up higher. I will lift him up. I am My Lord is good, I will lift him up higher. Anywhere I go, I will lift him up higher. I am lift him up higher. My Lord is good, I will lift him up higher. Anywhere I go, I will lift him up. I am ready to lift him up. I am ready to lift him up. I am. My Lord is good. I will lift him up. Anywhere I go, I will lift him up. I am ready to lift him up. I am ready to lift him up. Higher, my Lord is good. I will lift him up higher. Anywhere I go, I will lift him up higher. Higher, higher. Every day I lift my feet up higher. Every day, higher, higher. Every day I lift my feet up higher. Every day, higher, every day, I need my Jesus, every day, higher, every day, I need my Jesus, every day, higher, every day, I need my Jesus, Every day, higher, higher, every day, I leave my life, every day, higher, higher, every day, I leave my Jesus, every day, higher, higher, every day, I leave my Jesus, Every day, higher, every day, I leave my Jesus. Every day, higher, every day, I leave my Jesus. Every day, higher, every day. I eat my Jesus every day. Every day. Every day. I eat my Jesus every day. Why can't you begin to lift Jesus higher right now? Because he is the King of kings. He is the Lord of lords. Is the mighty man in battle is the reason why we are weak this morning. Is the God that have the financing is the reason why we have gathered, we have come to him because he is the Lord, because he's the faithful father, because he's the God that never lie, is the God that never change, 
Let's bless the name of the Lord because He's alive. Let's thank the Lord for His goodness, for His mercy upon our life. Let's thank God for another day like this. Let's thank God for making possible for us to be among the living this morning. This morning, let's bless His holy name because He's alive. Let's thank the Lord because He's, he's worthy. Let's thank Him. Let's thank Him for His goodness upon our life. Let's thank Him for His faithfulness. Let's thank Him for everything. Let's thank Him for this new day He has given us to us. Let's bless His holy name because He's worthy to be praying. Heavenly Father, we want to thank You for this new day that You have given unto us. We want to thank You for a new hour like this. We thank You for how You brought us together this morning. We thank You for how You make it possible for us to be a more delivery. Father, many slept last night. Many could not wake up. We are awake this morning. It's not because of our righteousness. Lord, it is because of Your mercy upon our life. We are awake, Father. Father, we say thank you this morning what shall we offer unto you father father we say may your name may lord be glorified this morning oh lord in the name of jesus thank you because you are faithful thank you because you are mighty thank you because you are kind thank you father because you didn't allow us to perish oh lord my father blessed father glory be unto you that the adoration be unto you this morning you are worthy to be praised you are worthy to be the king of kings you are worthy to be the Emmanuel. You are worthy to sit on the throne, Father. May your name alone be glorified this morning, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you are worthy to be prayed. May your name alone, my Father, be glorified. For in Jesus' name we pray. 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 This morning we are going to look in, into our life. We are, we are going to look into our life. This morning we are going to tell the Lord we are sorry for our sins. We are going to tell Jesus to wash us thoroughly. We are going to tell the law to pity us. We are going to tell the law that we as we have come before him this morning, that the law to purify us. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, my Bible makes me to understand the only people that can come before the law, according to the book of a second chronicle chapter seven, uh, seven second chronicle chapter seven, verse 14. He said, If the people that have called by my name can humble themselves, what happened? And seek me and turn away from their wickedness and repent and cry unto me. He said, What happened? I will hear them in heaven. Simply mean that it's not all prayer reach heaven. But the only person that, that we pray this morning that the Lord will hear is only those people that are with a pure heart. I want you to check your life. Maybe before you go to bed, before um, a few minutes ago, you get annoyed, check your life this hour as we have gathered this morning. Brothers and sisters, I was made to understand this morning that this period, many of us, we are claiming we are going to heaven, but we have not even yet begun the journey of heaven. Why? Because many of us have not yet known what, what request to go to heaven. But by the grace of God, God will be showing us this morning what it really, what it means to say I'm a Christian. This morning, I want you to talk to the Lord. Tell God to purge you. Tell God to take away every uncleanness. Tell the Lord to purge away every character that is not of, of Him. Tell the Lord, Lord, remove away those things, those spirits, offense, provocation, anger, malice, by battle, deceitful, worldliness. Tell God to hold them out of you. This morning, cry unto Jesus. Say, Lord, I have come to you. Precious Father, you are the mighty Father. You are the King of all glory. You are the rock of age. You are the everlasting Father. Lord, this morning, I have come to you, merciful Jesus. Lord, I bring myself to you. I bring my soul unto you. 
Lord, I ask you, Father, to begin with me, to deal with me this point, and purge away my father, everything in my father that does not represent you in my life. Father, where I have lived contrary your will, I ask you, Lord, Father, to pity me, to show me your mercy, and to forgive me my sin. Lord, as I come to you this point, merciful Jesus, I ask you, Father, to do something new in my life, something new, Father, in my heart. Father, I pray, O oh Lord, to show me that mercy. Let your mercy speak for me. Let your mercy, O oh Lord, speak for me this point, Lord, that at the end, Lord, glory and honor be unto you. Holy Spirit, I need you in my life. Lord, I need you every day by day. I need you, I shall I need you, King of Kings. Lord, let your spirit come. Come into my life. Come and reign in my heart. Come and reign upon this day. Father, I pray, Father, everything that does not represent you in this group, Father, Father, let them be poor. Get away every thought that the arrogance, Lord. Let them be poor out of my life, Father. And at the end, Lord, glory be unto you, Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This morning we are going to dedicate our life before the Lord. We are in a new week. We are going to tell the Holy Spirit to lead us this new week. We are going to tell the Lord, Lord, let the garment of sanctification, let the garment of holiness, let the garment of righteousness, Lord, in this week, I want to live according to your word. Lord, this week, I want to come close to you more and more. Lord, this week, draw me out of darkness. Lord, this week, Lord, my family, my children, my husband, they are in your hands. Why can't you talk to the Lord this morning? Tell the Lord, Lord, this week, I want to come close to you more and more this week. Lord, this week, I want to do your will more and more. Lord, this week, Lord, I want to know you more and more this week. Lord, this week, Lord, my Father in glory, help me, O oh Lord, to come close to you. Help me, Father in glory, to follow you, O oh precious Father. I have come to you, Father. Lord, I bring myself to you, Father. Lord, I bring your children to you. Father, this week, Lord, I ask you, Father, Father, to draw us come close to your Yourself. Father, draw us come close to yourself, my Father in glory. Father, we want to live for you. Lord, we want to walk for you this week, Father. Father, let this week, oh Lord, my Father, be a different week entirely. Let this week, Lord, my Father, be a week, oh Lord, you have prepared. Father, a week, oh Lord, my Father, in glory for us to know you more, well, for us to seek you more. Father, Father, we want to seek your work. Father, we want to seek your Wait, Father. Father, this week, oh Lord, I pray, my Father, in glory, take absolute control of our life. Let your name be low, be glorified, that at the end, your name will be magnified. For in Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Uh, let's take the song that says, without wasting time, please. The song that says, I gave, I, I gave, I gave my life for thee. Him 171. I gave my life for thee. But what have thou given unto me? Jesus gave his life in the cross of Calvary for you and I to have life. For you and I to have access to return back to heaven. Please don't waste time. Take the song for me. I gave my life for thee, my prayer, just blood I shed that thou might run. Sunday 
It now one to go. I gave my life for thee, my precious Lord. I share that my son, son, Thee, 
waters that brought to me. Let's take that stanza and see. I suffer much, I suffer much, I suffer much. More than the tongue cannot tell. Take it. I suffer much for thee. More than the tongue can tell. Of bring to rest to from hell. I I Sisters, the Lord is asking you a question. Are you waiting for me to tell you to pray? The Lord is asking you a question. I left my glorious house to come to this earth, to die for you, to save your life, to pay the sacrifice. But today, you are not being selfish with your life. I gave my life for thee. My precious blood, I shed it for thee. I give all, I give all, I give all my life for thee. But what have thou given unto me? That is it. I left, I left, I left it all. He left the glorious truth and come to this sinful, to this wicked world. Heavenly Father, I'm a foolish man for so long. Asking you for mercy. All you have done for me. The sacrifice you are paid. Lord Jesus, I ask you, precious Jesus, I am not even qualified. Lord, I am not even qualified, Lord, to know you because what you have done for me in cross of Calvary, Lord Jesus, I did not deserve it. Lord, I did not deserve it at all. That pay you pass through. Lord, just for the sake of the love you have for me. Lord, you demonstrate the love you have for mankind that you have for the people that you created. That you are not willing for any should perish, but for all to come to repentance. Precious Father, precious Jehovah, we have come this morning asking you, precious Jesus, Lord Jesus, to take absolute control upon our life. Lord, I pray this morning, oh Lord, that you will pity us. Lord, we are sinful children, rebellious children, rebellious people. Lord, people that have deviated away from you. People that have no fear of you anymore. People, Lord, that are not murmuring. People that are not full of argument. People that are not full of excuse. Lord, precious Father, I ask you to pity us. Lord, because if you take your Holy Spirit away from us, we are finished. Lord, if you leave us, my father, we are finished. Lord, if you leave us, who is going to deliver us? Lord, this morning, we are asking you, Father, Father, to turn us to 180 degrees. Turn us back to the love. Lord, turn us back to, the, to have fear of you, precious Father. Lord, we want to fear you that at the end, God, Lord, your name alone be glorified. Lord, this morning, I surrender my life. I surrender every member of this group into your hands. Lord, this morning, come and speak to us. Lord, come and speak to us that at the end of today, glory and honor be unto you. All our children, they are in your hands. Lord, I submit them to you. I ask you to be with them. I ask you to direct them. I ask you to protect them. Let your light shine upon them. 
Lord, all the plans of the evil ones against our children, against all the children that are in the womb. Lord, I hold them captive now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, take absolute control. Father, cause a great revival in our soul. Cause a great revival in our life. Cause a great revival in our heart. Lord, teach us your word. Show us, my Father, how to demonstrate that love you, my Father, that at the end, glory and honor be unto you this morning, Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. On behalf of the uh, entire family of Good Morning Jesus Family Foundation, I welcome you specially this morning program, and especially the people that are joining us for their first time, you are highly welcome to this program. I want to tell you that uh, this is a house, a house that loves you, a house God has raised this period to speak out His word to as many that are in the world, for them to be saved, because ignorance of not knowing the truth will not be an excuse on the last day. Because of that, God raised this group to open the eyes of the blind, to, to go into the war, to bring the people who have lost the prodigal son, just like as I was a time ago, I was once a prodigal son, but until when the Lord decided to deliver me, the glory be to God today, I am happy. This morning, you are going to be hearing the message, but I am not the one to speak to you, but God is just going to use my mouth to speak, because God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost is here with us. Jesus Christ is the founder of Good Morning Jesus Family. Why the Holy Ghost is the director. Why I am the representative in, uh, here in Italy. And the, you, are, you are hearing other voices of people. Those people are still, one, are still among of the ambassadors of Good Morning Jesus Family. You are all welcome. This morning, we are going to be looking into a crucial message. A message that will not take our time, but the message is going to open our eyes of understanding. For us to understand, because this period, people are not returning back to the world. People are not saying it doesn't matter. People are not really not tired of what of doing God's work. But you will really understand. As we sing the song, I gave up, I gave up, I gave up for thee. But what have thou given unto me? But you will know. Through, through this message, you will really understand the cause of what? The cause of being a Christian. The cause of following Christ. What does he request to follow Christ? Does he really request anything for me? You will really understand through this group, through this message, that yes, he requests something. The topic we are having this morning say the willingness to sacrifice all that God requests. The willingness to sacrifice all that God requests for us. The willingness. The willingness to say, I give up my life. The willingness to say, no, right now, I forgot the, I forget the things of this world. The willingness to say, no, I'm ready to die from Christ. The willingness to say, right now, I'm ready to go to evangelism. Even though people are mocking me, the willingness to say, no, I stand. The will. Because after the Pentecost, you find out that after the Pentecost, the church was no longer the same. After the Pentecost. After the Pentecost, day by day, now by now, you see that the church was increasing. But check today, after Pentecost, many things is going wrong in the church. Anger is there, provocation is there, barbata is there, deceitful is there. No, the willingness to say what to do, the, the willingness to sacrifice all that what all that God all that God requests for us. That is the war. Let's turn our Bible. Let's take our Bible. Bible reading this morning in the book of uh, let's check let's go to the book of Matthew Matthew chapter chapter 10 Matthew chapter 10 so that we understand that yes this willingness if you don't have people today the problem we are having people have people are coming to church I was teaching the children yesterday making the children to understand you people should not be among of those people that are practicing religions of their fathers I begin to ask the children, I say, if you know you are not happy to come to church, raise up your hand. Some children raise up their hand. 
I say, why? I begin to ask them, why do you don't have a, you don't have the passion, you don't have the, you don't have this, uh, this mind to say, no, I must to go to the house of my father. Then the two children begin to give me reason. Why? Because these children, they want to be practicing religions because of what they are saying in the world. But we Christians, we must not practice religions, religions in the sense that we are among all the people that started Christianity. We are, my friend, when somebody begin to talk to you, you say, forget about that, I know it all. And when somebody begin to talk about good morning, your family say, forget there, who day you enter there, don't you know we are the one that started it? But the willingness to do the work is no longer there. The willingness of evangelism is no longer there. The willingness to encourage people, brothers, I didn't see you in prayer. Where, why were you not in the prayer? The willingness is no longer there. The willingness is no longer there anymore. The willingness of evangelism, that anywhere I go, I talk about Jesus. I tell people there is a need of what people now, they refuse to go to church. The willingness to say, now, nah, we are not church, but we are what? We are a channel, a channel of truth. The willingness is no longer there to do the work. But the willingness to sacrifice all that God requests. Now, in Matthew chapter 20, in Matthew 10, 37, let's read for verse 37. Are we there? Please. He that loveth brother or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. That taketh not his cross and is not worthy of me. He that findeth his, his life shall lose it. And he that loveth his life for my sake shall find it. Okay, st stop there. You see what happened there? Please, we must to understand the message this morning. He said, Him that what? He that loveth father, mother, mother, and, and what? More than me is not what? Is not worthy of what? Of me. And he that loveth son, daughters, more than me is not what? Is not worthy of me. But do you know today? The world is not loving. The people, the Christianity, are not love. The Christian, the Christian today. I'm not talking of the secular world. The Christians today, they are not love. They, they have interest of the things of this world. If you go to UK, according to the information, people don't like to go to church at all. It's except those people that don't go to where they are dancing kokuma. They are not going to church because they want to seek God. They are going to church because of what? Because they want to show dress. Today, that is what is happening in the churches. The, why? the willingness is no longer there to serve God. People are not serving God just like a show. Why? Because these people have not yet understand the time. Therefore, you and I must understand the time we are. The time we are in this world. If that willingness to sacrifice, to do the work is no longer there. Brothers and sisters, it could have been better you die on time to go and meet your ancestor here than to be in this world. You don't do what the Lord is telling you. You are just combating the ground. Why you combating the ground? Don't you remember the dream when Jesus Christ was passing by? Jesus Christ checked the dream that uh, there was no fruit. What happened to him? What happened? Jesus said, why are you combating this ground? It could have been better word you are not existing at all than for you to be on this earth and you are combating the ground. The same way many Christians today, we are not combating the church. We are not combating the seat. We are not combating the position. But the willingness is no longer there. The willingness to say, no, I do the work. The willingness to say, no, I, I, I do all my possible best to make sure that these Christians, these Christians, everybody become born again. The willingness is not there. Look at the numbers we are having. The numbers of the number we are having on Zoom every day by day. I begin to say, where are the people who are among this group are born again? What are they waiting for? Look at the numbers we are seeing online, on Facebook, when message is going on. The willingness is not there anymore to what to say no. I must to be a part of this program to begin to invite people from them to come and hear the gospel. If I cannot preach, God is using my brother to pray. Therefore, I join my brother, I came to this world to what to make. Make sure that people be saved. The willingness is no longer there. The coldness is not overtaking the church. Coldness. But we cry, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, when the willingness is not there. 
How can the Holy Ghost come when the willingness of heart, when the willingness is no longer inside the heart? Before the apostles received the Holy Ghost, brother, what happened? These people was having that mind, the mind of what? The mind to say, no, I gave up to cry. He said, and him that what? Him that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not what? Is not worthy of me. He that findeth, he that findeth his life shall what shall lose it, and he that loseth his life from my sake shall what shall find it. You see, today people want to secure their life. People want to have insurance of life, but people have no insurance of heaven. People want to save their life. People want to build mansions on earth. People have no mansion in heaven. People want to go to comfortable place on earth, but people don't. People have not yet prepared where they are going to spend eternity. Brothers and sisters, the willingness is no longer there. The willingness to say no, I serve God. Let's turn right now. Fast, a fast reader. Don't waste my time. In the book of Genesis, chapter twenty-two. Please, let's be fast for that. Genesis chapter twenty-two. Let's take it all. Oh, please, let's take it. Are we there, please? And it came to point after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham, and he said, Behold, here am I am. And he said, Take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and clave to the wood for the burnt offering and rose up and went unto the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place far off, five. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide ye here with the ass, and I... And the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son. And he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both up together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, My father, and he said, Am I? And my, my son, and he said, Behold the fire. And the wood, for where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. And they came to a, the place which God had told him of. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and, bought, and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. Then and Abraham stretched forth his hand and took knife and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called upon him out of the heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here yeah, am I. And he said, Lay not thy hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God. Seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thy only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket by his sons. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the state of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day. In the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. 15. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time and said, By myself have I sworn, say the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing and hast not returned thy son, thy only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven and as the sun which is upon the seashore, and thy, and thy seed shall possess the gate of its enemies. And in, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, 
because thou hast obeyed my voice. So Abraham returned unto his young men, and they rose up and went together to Beersheba. And Abraham dwelt in Beersheba, 20. And it came to pass after these things that it was told Abraham, saying, Behold, Micah, Micah, she had also born children unto the brother Nahum, first his firstborn, and was his brother, and Kemor, the father of Aaron, and Kist, and Hazor, and Pedas, and the. Let's stop Adi. there. Let's stop there because of the time. Praise the Lord. Allah. Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, I believe that through this message, your eyes of understanding will be what? Will be granted unto you so that your eyes, your God want to open your eyes this morning. You see Abraham, a man that a man God promised, God promised him, I'm going to bless you. You are going to you are going to be a father of many nations. Do you know that Abraham it took 25 years? Am I right? Am I right? Yes, sir. Go 25 years, and God bless Abraham with what? With a child. With his son, and after blessing him, God told Abraham again, Abraham now to carry that son, go and sacrifice that son for me. Brothers and sisters, you see the willingness to give up the all to give up for the sake of what of God. The willingness to say, Lord, I give up. Whatever you anywhere you ask me to go, I go. Whether I do the sacrifice, I'm a hung, I'm a hungry, no problem. The sacrifice of Abraham. What happened to Abraham? Today, because of the false teachers we are now seeing in the world, because of the many discouragement by many prophets, many pastors today, people have got discouraged. People have got discouraged. The trusatis is no longer there. The willingness to say, now nah, let me serve God with all my mind is no longer there. The willingness to say, now nah, I give up for the sake of Christ. If I, if I, if I die, I die. For the sake of Christ, people are no longer, it's no longer there. Why? Because people are getting cold day by day. People are not getting full day by day. People are not war. People are not going back. You see, if you check the old people, the old people in the Bible, the old prophet, do you know that they don't pray the way we pray now? Do you know that? They don't pray the way we pray today. Just the word, they speak the word, the word come to pass. Why? Because these are men of faith. These are people that walk, that walk by with God. They hear from God. They follow as the Lord give instruction. But today, are we still following that? You see, when Abraham hear the voice, Abraham, rise up, go and sacrifice your son for me. Abraham did not con Abraham did not consult anybody. Abraham did not even consult his wife Sarah. Abraham said, "Lord, I obey as you instructed me." Abraham did not say, Lord, you are so wicked after 25 years. After 25 years, you are telling me that this thing that I have achieved, I should still give it, give it to go and kill it. Brothers and sisters, you see there are, you see there are willingness, there are willingness that takes somebody to another level. On a level that you don't understand. You see how the willingness of Abraham, Abraham was having this willingness to work, to sacrifice his only son to God. Brothers and sisters, after that, what happened to it? Do you know that? Do you know why God did not allow Abraham to sacrifice Isaac? Because Isaac is not qualified for the ram. Do you know that? Isaac did not qualify to what to pay the diary, the diary that Jesus Christ paid. Isaac did not sacrifice. Isaac, Isaac is not qualified for it. That was the reason why God had to send angel to stop Abraham. I'm telling you the truth. Why? Because if I, that is the I, God request a woman, a woman be blood to work for to for the sacrifice of the screens for the Christians of sin of the whole world. But Isaac did not qualify. Look at after everything, look at what the Lord told Abraham. In verse Abraham, when Ab Abra God took Abraham to this uh, world to this fire, and the Abraham did not fail, Abraham did not stop. <laughs> When God saw that Abraham's mind, Abraham, because Abraham was not having the memory of this world, Abraham knew who he followed. Abraham have this willingness. Anywhere you send me, Lord, I follow. You see the willingness of Abraham in the, in the first time. Abraham did not know the land, God, in the land 
where God sent Abraham. He hear the voice one day, leave your father's lap and go. Abraham was having that willingness to walk, to obey, just obey. But today, check your life, brothers and sisters. You that claim you are a Christian, did I still have this willingness to sacrifice, to let go, to do the sacrifice, the sacrifice, brother, that will, that will touch body, that will touch your, your, your life? Give him the, what you have today, what you have in your life, all of them does not be like a, the sac, it, it, cannot, it cannot even reach the quarter of the sacrifice of Abraham. But look at it. In verse 15, and the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven in what? In the second time, saying and said, by myself, I have what? I have swear, said the Lord, for because thou have not, I have done this, this thing, hmm, and you did not hold your son because you have done this, you have proved me that you are my son. What happened to him? He said that the blessing I will bless thee, and in multiply I will what I will multiply thee that seed like what like the sky like the stars of heaven like stars of heaven who can who can count stars? This is the this is the willingness to sacrifice all that God request. God requested it, and Abraham said, "Lord, I will do it." Brothers and sisters in the Lord. The Lord is making us to understand that as we, the Christians of today, when we begin, to, when we go to the Bible, we find out even the apostles, the apostles of who? Apostle Peter, John, James, Pete, uh, Thomas, Bartholomew, and all other apostles of all other apostles that follow that came to the ministry of Jesus Christ. What happened? These people have the word, have the mind, the willingness to say, Lord, I give all. I give all to follow you. I give all to serve you. I give all to what to obey what you are telling me. Husband and wife, single brother, single sister. Many of us today we claim we are a member of this group. We are not here. What we have not yet, we have not yet give up to Christ for the sake of Christ. We have not yet give up, give our life, not to talk of to give other things. We have not yet submit our heart to Him. We have not yet conquered by the word of God. That is the reason why somebody can leave this group. The person will tell you, God asked the, ask him, ask him or Hannah to go to another place where people, you see people, people that are in the church, a place where they are talking about heaven. Then they will, they will, they will rise up one day. They will tell you, God asked them to leave that church and go to a church where they are dancing kokoma. Why? Because the person have not yet what conquer. You can decide not to wear trousers. You can decide not to wear ear, ear, ear ring. You can decide not to put on with on. You can decide not to not to wear makeup. But your heart is so wicked. Why? Because you have not yet submit. You have not yet submit your life to Christ. You have not yet be conquered by the word of God. But if you are conquered by the word of God, I tell you, my brothers and sisters, that willingness. Even though people are going back, even though that people are saying, I don't, I can't go to evangelism because I'm so busy. You say, no, if I don't go to evangelism, I'm finished. Why? Because the willingness is there to sacrifice, to make sure people, people be saved. Brother, that is the word of God. I want you to bow down yourself right now, brothers and sisters. The willingness is it still there. The willingness to serve God is it still there. The willingness to say, Lord, <laughs> I will not, I will not love my, you see people love husband, love wife, love children, love the things of this world now more than God, even pastors, even pastors, our pastor, our BB pastors, they are pursuing the things of this world. But they are not, the willingness is not the same. <laughs> if I suffer for the sake of Christ, glory be to God. You remember the apostles of old, the willingness was there. Even when they suffer, because of Christ, they was jubilating. They was happy that word that they be among those people that suffer for the sake of Christ. But today, the willingness is not there. The willingness is no longer there in the church. The willingness to say, Lord, if you are not moving me to sponsor your project, Lord, I do it. The willingness is no longer there. People are look excuse. Excuse up and down. I need to finish my house. I need to do this. Our in London 
is a wonderful oh my brother told me in london he said brother it's not here that you can have time to go and greet people he said in london there is nothing like that because people people take hours to become serious they know one hour is money but how long are we going to pursue this money money is very good why because the willingness is no longer there the willingness of what to make sure i have the big money i have the big car i have the things of this world that willingness is done is there but the willingness to say now nah, i sacrifice as the law instructed me that willingness is no longer there but anybody that must go to heaven anybody that must go to heaven must understand without having this mind such person cannot go to heaven this morning because of the time I close my Bible. We continue tomorrow as Christ, as Christ demand. Now I want you to bow down yourself and talk to God. Say, Lord, here am I, Lord. I need this willingness. Have you said yourself? If this willingness is not there anymore, you can cry to Jesus now. If you find out that the willingness is no longer there, you are not getting dry, brothers and sisters. Any man or woman that love the things of this world, silver, gold, precious stone, the things of this world more than God, such person is not worthy to go to heaven. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you this morning. Lord, you have made me to understand through your word that even though that I have the privilege to preach the word, if that willingness to give up to you, if, if the willingness is not there, that I'm not qualified to even enter heaven. Lord, I ask you to help me. Daddy, I can't help myself. I need that willingness. The willingness to give up to you, to give up the world to you, to let go of the things of this world. To let go of the precious of the treasure of the possession of this world. To let go of the things of this world, my heavenly Father. Help me, Adonai. I want to do your will. Lord, I ask you, Father, this mind of Abraham, the mind that Abraham carried by saying that after promise of 25 years, you gave him, you bless him with a son, a child. Abraham still have that willingness. To give up that child. Heavenly Father. That is a demonstration to all of us. That if this mind is not in us. That we are not qualified to go to heaven. Precious Father. I ask you Father. To help us. Lord to help us. Lord let this willingness be in us. The willingness to let go. The willingness to let go. Heavenly Father. To let go of those character. To those arrogance. To those minds we are carrying today, let those minds go away from us. That at the end, Father, glory and honor be unto you. Thank you this morning. Thank you, Abba, Father. Thank you for your children. Thank you for every member. Those that are watching us now for their first time in America, in Asia, in Dubai, in all over the world. Lord, they are in your hands, Heavenly Father. Lord, let your light shine upon them. Lord, bless them and protect them. That at the end, glory and honor be unto you, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Because of our time, you can go back and begin to pray. In our Bible reading of today, in the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 26, 27, and 28. Please take time to read your Bible. And our program today, by the grace of God, we are going to have our question and answer by 6 p.m. And uh, if uh, my time permits, by 5.30 p.m., I'm going to be speaking to all the Yahoo boys, all, the, all, those, uh, all those people that are doing business that is not qualified, those business that offend Christ. I'm going to speak to them today as Christ as, 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 the, as the Christ is instructed me to talk to them, to use my life to talk to them. Because they are youths. I must to tell you the danger that is ahead of you. Those people that are doing those things. You, are, you, you want to make the money, but today I will open your eyes in the Bible. So that you will understand that the danger that is ahead of you. Because 
Inglorian will not be an excuse on the last day. What you people are doing today, Christ is not happy with it. He died for you. But by the help of the Lord, if my if time permit me, we are going to have such a program today before our question and answer. Praise the Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, bless and bye with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely may his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Our life is hidden in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, our life can be safe and secure in the name of Jesus. Our life is hidden in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, our going out, our coming in, every activities of today can be safe and secure in the name of Jesus. In the book of Micah 7:7. Wherefore, I will look unto the Lord, I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me, rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me in Jesus' name. Please, all the people that are here, if there is any pregnant sister among us here, please call me as soon as this message is over. Any pregnant sister, if you are pregnant, you are on this group, please call me as soon as possible. God bless you and have a blessed and wonderful day.